welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a topic that I love and that you probably can already find out through the title, but today we are going to be talking about what you need to know if you're interested in owning a little French Bulldog puppy. Make sure you subscribe and ring that bell down below for more videos and more videos about Gigi and make sure you follow me on Instagram to see more of her live action and just about our life. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So I might as well start off why I got one. I was a senior in high school actually, so she is just turned six years old and I, hi, yes I love you. I had been interested in Frenchies for a really long time and at the time I was showing horses and was really interested in one and we, I grew up with dogs. Basically, I was at the world show for horses for AQHA. No, no, stay here, stay with the video. I was at the world show um, for AQHA and I saw someone with a French bulldog puppy that looked kind of like Gigi. And I was like, oh my God, that dog is so cute. Where did you get it from? And they told me the breeder and how reputable the breeder was. And I looked them up and they had one left and a girl. And I begged my mom to get a Frenchie. Stay here. What are you doing? Um, I begged my mom, basically. Okay, I'll put you down right here. I begged my mom, basically, to get a French Bulldog puppy. And she surprised me and contacted the breeder and had her come to the grounds and I fell in love with Gigi. This is what she looked like as a little pumpkin when I first got her. What you should know, let's see, their average lifespan is about 12 to 16 years, so that's actually pretty good for a small dog. Um, they are prone to a lot of health issues though, so they have, they can be born with cleft palates, they have hip dysplasia that's seen a lot actually in big dogs, they have back problems which she actually has back problems now that she's getting a little bit older. She had she had a cherry eye. They're prone to cherry eyes, which is like the red, I think it's the tear duct. It like comes out and it looks like a little, like the little, I'll put a picture somewhere on the screen so you can see it, but it's an easy fix. They just have surgery and they stitch it in and down so it doesn't pop back out, but your dog can live a happy, healthy life with a cherry eye. It's just kind of like cosmetic. Also, they can get cornea ulcers, which is basically a scratch on the eye. And she actually had that. Depending on the severity of it, it's usually pretty easy to clean up. You just have to keep putting eye drops on on her and like in her eye and you don't have to, you have to like put a cone on them, which is pretty funny to deal with. Come here. Gigi, come here. Come here. <laughs> come here. And then what else? They have BOAS, which is trouble breathing in like hot weather. Obviously, I live in Arizona, so it does get really hot here in the summertime. So it's basically just monitoring them in the summertime. Don't let them run around or get too playful outside. Do it in the air conditioning. It's just a lot easier for them to breathe. Normally, if I take her out and she's having a really hard time breathing, I'll take her back inside. She doesn't really know how to control it. Like if there's another dog outside, she wants to play with them and she will play equally as hard as they will. She doesn't really know her limits. So you kind of have to watch them. And then if we're outside on a hike or something and she's getting too hot, I always carry water with me. Sometimes I'll put like cold water on her to cool her down a little bit or take her back to my car, blast the air conditioning. Gigi, what happened? You get tired? <laughs> Gigi got tired. Now Claire has to carry her like a baby. And then another thing is Frenchie puppies, like female Frenchies who are giving birth, they all have to have C-sections because the Frenchie puppies' heads are so big, they can't have a natural birth. So that puts Frenchies at high risk, which kind of gives you the price range of what you're looking at. They are an expensive dog to buy. Um, at least a nice uh, one from a reputable breeder is. And that's why, is because there's such a high risk of a birth. So it's very dangerous actually to have a birth. So always, if you're planning on breeding a Frenchie, make sure you go to a vet, always consult a vet. 
even consult a vet before you're <laughs> thinking about having one is just a better decision. Make sure you have a good vet. Also, Gigi suffers from GI, which is a gastrointestinal disease. And so I have to have her on a limited diet, which a lot of Frenchies actually are. But just keep that in mind that their food is you have to feed them good food, good limited diet food, no grains, because dogs don't really ingest grains very well. I'll put up what I use, but it's a prescription food, dry food that she actually really loves, but now I can't switch her protein, so all of her food has to stay, even her treats and her bones that I give her, they have to stay the same protein or else she'll have an episode, and that's never fun to clean up after. What do you wanna learn about the personalities of a Frenchie? They are very stubborn. They are a bulldog, so they are very hard-headed and don't really like to listen to you, especially as a puppy. She had a terrible recall and just did not ever want to listen. But normally if you have a treat or if you try and convince them with food, they're pretty good about responding and they're very food-oriented. So you can get them to do a few tricks and learn a few things if you have food. Gigi's very much, she knows if you have food or not, so she will do the trick if you have it, but if you don't have it, good luck trying to get her to do the trick. She's not gonna do it, she knows. They're normally really good with children. She's actually really surprised me on how amazing she is with children. I've been walking her and a group of kids will run up to her and start petting her, like just a group of kids will just ambush her and she's so good she just kind of lays down and rolls over she's a very submissive dog so she'll just kind of roll over and lay down she doesn't freak out which is really nice they're great dogs for apartment living because they are so small they're so easy to travel with take them on a plane they're a little heavy she is about 27 28 pounds give or take and so they can be a little bit heavy. Normally they're really good travelers. She's really good in the car. They're just an easy portable dog to have around. They're also clowns. They're like the funniest dogs in the world. They're great. You have to clean them, which means yes, you have to give them a bath. And I like to use the Burt's Bees, this is not sponsored, the Burt's Bees deodorizing shampoo. It smells like apple and rosemary. It smells really good. Um, but also what you have to do is you have to clean their ears. So I like to take a cotton ball, like a jumbo cotton ball, and put this solution, this ear cleansing solution on it and just kind of wipe out her ears. She normally, she naturally has pretty clean ears, but the new Frenchie puppy that my mom just got has kind of dirty ears. Are you videoing? Mm -hmm. Ollie, give me five. Good boy. Ollie, give me 10. <laughs> And so you have to make sure to clean out their ears like once a week, every other week. Just make sure you keep up on it. It really depends on your Frenchie. What are you doing? <laughs> and then also you have to clean their eyes. So if I don't feel like using a solution on her, normally I'll just use like um, a wet washcloth. But she doesn't really have as many Frenchies like wrinkles as other Frenchies. Will you let me touch your face, please? But you have to clean up under their eyes. They have that big wrinkle right there. And normally that can get a lot of gunk in it because that's where their eyes normally drain. And I like to use this, it's actually from Martha Stewart, but it's this natural tear stain remover. And it works pretty well. If you have a lighter dog, like a lighter color, they can, they're more prone to like getting tear stains. And so it helps remove that. And then what else? What else we want to talk about, Jeej? Oh, we also live in a hot climate. Frenchies can't really keep their nose moist because their tongue does not reach that far. So I like to use this Burt's Bees Restoring Nose and Palm Balm. Nose and Paw Balm. Cannot talk today. So this, basically, I put it on her nose before we go to bed and her feet, and it just helps them stay moist, like the pads of her feet, especially when it gets hot here in Arizona, it just helps them stay moist and doesn't let them get cracked and painful. Another tip is, because it does get so hot, is you need good dog boots, like dog shoes, 
that have the rubber on the bottom. Don't just get them like an overlay. Think about your shoes and how your shoes have rubber soles and they protect your feet from the ground and the heat and you want that for your dog. These are actually too big so I need to return them and get a smaller size. They're a medium. But yes, that is very important. And then what else, Jeej? Oh, another thing I forgot to talk about for cleaning is there is, this is gonna be really uncomfortable to say, but there's a little, so their tails are not cropped. They come tiny, like they come short. A lot of them, their tails are really close to their bum. And there's, so, I don't know how to say this. Pretty much you have to clean between the tail and the butt. Like, because that, they can't really move their tail a lot. They don't, they wag their tail like a little bit, but they don't really move it that much. So a lot of bacteria and stuff can get stuck and dirt and debris can get stuck in that kind of pocket space. So just take like a wet washcloth, a little bit of soap and water, clean under there, you're good to go. Only do it like once a week or if that. Um, just something to be mindful of. Another thing that's really important for Frenchies is to get them a good harness. I don't really like using her collar as the um, what I put her uh, leash on. I use, oh, let me get it. I use this Frenchie harness, um, really great. It's really cute, they have really cute designs, but it's reversible, it just slips over her head and they're made really well for French Bulldogs. Obviously that was their purpose and they're really cute. So this side has little cacti on them and then this side is blue with llamas. It's actually really <laughs> like dirty, I need to wash it. Um, another thing is to get them a life vest. Frenchies don't, a lot of them can't swim. They're very top heavy and very light on the bottom. So a lot of them, if they fall into water or they jump into water, they just sink like a rock. Um, so always be mindful of that if you're taking them over to a house that has a pool or you have a pool Just be careful. Keep an eye on them all the time. Don't let them go into your backyard unsupervised They're basically like a small child, especially if your friend she loves water It will jump in and it will sink like you need a life Jacket for your dog and I know a lot of places that sell them like you can just go to a pet smart and get one So on their personality side, <laughs> unlike Gigi's not really showing it right now, but she is a very clingy dog. She's kind of like my little shadow. She follows me all around the house. If I go to the bathroom to do my makeup or brush my teeth or something, she's sitting on the um, rug in the bathroom. Or if I'm on the couch, she's right there next to me. She's a very clingy dog and wants to be in your personal space all the time. So if you don't want a dog like that, don't get a Frenchie. Like it's it's not for you. She, are you just staring at the bed? Do you not want to be near me right now? They're not really for you just because that's, they're just a very clingy dog. Some of them can have separation anxiety. One of the best things you can do is take your dog with you if you're going somewhere. I know Arizona is a very pet friendly state. So there's a lot of restaurants that have outdoor seating that you can take your dog to. And yeah, I recommend bringing your dog with you, but please, for the love of God, do not leave your dog in the car. Like, first of all, it's illegal to do that in most states. Secondly, it's just not okay. If you love, you, you should never leave a child or a dog in the car. It's just not a good idea. You don't have control over the situation. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Most places, if you call ahead and you ask, hey, I've got my dog and I don't want to leave them in the car. Can I come in? I'm just running in to get something. Normally they'll say yes and just let you bring the dog in. Definitely take your dog with you. Spend quality time. Don't just come in, take it out, go back to work. Spend some quality time with your dog. You got it for a reason. You wanted a companion. Prove it, spend some time with it. Another thing is get your dog, get your Frenchie from a reputable breeder. So know your breeder, do a background check on them. And 
it'll help you in the long run just because Frenchies, they are prone to illnesses and health issues. And so if you get one from a reputable breeder who knows what they're doing and has healthy dogs, you're less likely to have a dog that has a bunch of health problems. Also, you can adopt. I know there's a French bulldog rescue that I personally follow on Instagram that's so awesome. And I can link it down below. They're a great place. They post about puppies that can be rescued and full grown dogs and special needs dogs and all these things um, for French bulldogs. And you can even donate and give the dogs a like toy or something like that. Um, just please don't buy your French bulldog from a pet store. That's like the worst thing you can do. Um, a lot of those dogs come from puppy mills and puppy mills have no idea what they're doing health code wise and breeding. They just breed to make money instead of breeding for a good healthy puppies. So just keep that in mind. I know that they're a little less expensive than going to a reputable French bulldog breeder, but you would rather have a dog that ha lives a happy, healthy life than one that's going to cause a lot of problems and may not even live to the like age of two. So just keep that in mind. French bulldogs are such a great pet and companion. They are so loving and so welcoming to people who come in and to your life and children and other dogs and they're just a great portable dog to have in your life, a great first dog to have if you can understand that they're a little stubborn and you need to be consistent with training. And yeah, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe down below and ring the bell for more GG videos and like this video if you want more GG videos and GG focused videos. Make sure you follow me on Instagram to get more live action videos of the GG. And yeah, I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck if you get a French Bulldog puppy, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!